Dear students, in this chapter, parts and roots or exponents, we have already done all these objectives, and the previous video was about some special types related to this chapter. So we will proceed with the same topic. So let's get started. So let's start with the first example. So read the statement first. Simplify x raised to power 2n plus 3 dot dot means multiply x raised to power 2n plus 1 bracket n plus 2 upon x raised to power 3 bracket 2n plus 1 dot x raised to power n bracket 2n plus 1. Now here student this dot refers to multiplication sign right now x raised to power 2n plus 3 we will put them in a bracket dot x raised to power now here you can see that two brackets are there that means we have to solve them with the arrow method right so we will write here 2n bracket n plus 2 after that plus 1 bracket n plus 2 and we will apply here arrow method as you can see here i have put here arrows down we will write in the denominator x raised to power 3 bracket 2n plus 1. What does it mean? That means here we will apply a rule that is a raised to power m bracket n is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n. So we will multiply these two parts. So after multiplying it we will get x raised to power 6n plus 3 dot x raised to power 2n square plus n. Right? Now in the next step, we will write here x raised to power 2n plus 3 dot x raised to power 2n square plus 4n plus n plus 2. In the denominator, we will write them same, right? Next, in the next step, we will write here x raised to power 2n plus 3 dot x raised to power 2n square 4n plus 1n that will be plus 5n plus 2 upon x raised to power 6n plus 3 dot x raised to power 2n square plus n. Now, in the next step, what we will do, we are going to apply this rule here, a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n. Why we will apply this rule? Because here bases are same and they are getting multiplied, so their parts will be added. So here we will add their parts like this, 2, x raised to power 2n plus 3 plus 2n square plus 5n plus 2. Down also we will apply the same rule, x raised to power 6n plus 3 plus 2n square plus n, right? Now after solving this, we will get here x raised to power 2n square, right, x raised to power plus 7n plus 5 upon x raised to power 2n square plus 7n plus 3. Now, we will apply this rule here because the bases are same and they are getting divided. So, we will apply this rule a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m minus n. So, we will subtract their parts, right. So, we will write here x raised to power 2n square plus 7n plus 5. And you know that when this will go up, their uh, sign will be changed because we have to subtract them. So it will be minus 2n square, minus 7n and minus 3n. And you know that 2n square is of plus sign and it is of minus sign. So we will cut them. Next plus 7n and minus 7n. That means also we will cut them. And we are left with only plus 5 and minus 3. It will be 2 only. So we will have our answer as x raised to power 2. Right? So now let's move to the next example. Now here we are having our next example. The statement is show that square root of x p minus q multiplied by square root of x q minus r multiplied by square root of x r minus p is equal to 1. That means we have to prove that this statement is equal to 1. So what we will do, we will start our question by taking the left hand side because we have to prove it which is equal to the right hand side that is 1. So we will take here left hand side this. So as you know that square root means 1 upon 2. So here we have written x raised to power 1 upon 2 right bracket p minus q clear multiply by x raised to power 1 upon 2 again because if, uh, here again we are having square root it means that 1 upon 2 bracket q minus r multiply by x raised to power 1 upon 2 r minus p in a bracket right now what we can do we will multiply 1 upon 2 with this bracket so after multiplying it we will get here x raised to power p upon 2 minus q upon 2 multiply by x raised to power q upon 2 minus r upon 2 multiply by x raised to power r upon 2 minus p upon 2 right 
Now students, you can see that x is a base, right? And they are getting multiplied. So we will add their parts and we will apply this law and whatever law we are using here, we will write it side by side on the right hand side, right? So we will write here x raised to power p upon 2 minus q upon 2 plus q upon 2 minus r upon 2 plus r upon 2 minus p upon 2. All right. Now students, you can see that p upon 2 is a plus sign, p upon 2 is a minus sign. So that means we can cut them. Right. Next one is minus q upon 2 plus q upon 2. That means again we can cut them. Next is minus r upon 2 plus r upon 2. So again we can cut them. So we are left with nothing. We are left with only 0. That means x raised to power 0. And here we are again having a law regarding this. So that means any variable, any number raised to power 0, which is equals to 1. That is a raised to power 0 is equals to 1. So here we got our answer x raised to power 0 is equals to 1, which is equals to right hand side. Right? Which is equals to right hand side. Hence proved. Clear? So now let's move to the next example. So students here again we have taken a statement in which we have to show left hand side is equal to right hand side. So what we will do here firstly we will read the statement show that x raised to power a upon x raised to power minus b bracket a minus b multiplied by x raised to power b upon x raised to power minus c bracket b minus c multiplied by x raised to power c upon x raised to power minus c bracket c minus a is equals to 1. We have to prove that this left hand side is equals to 1. That is equals to right hand side. So we will take your left hand side. As you can see that x raised to power a divided by x raised to power minus b. So that means the bases are same. They are getting divided. So we will apply this rule here. a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is equals to a raised to power m minus n. Right? So we will write here x raised to power a minus bracket minus b. Why bracket minus b? Because we can't write two signs together. So we will put here bracket and a big bracket outside here we will write here raised to power a minus b. Similarly for the next one x raised to power b minus bracket minus c bracket b minus c multiplied by x raised to power c minus bracket minus a bracket c minus a. Now after solving it we will get here x raised to power a plus b bracket a minus b multiplied by x raised to power bracket b plus c bracket b minus c x raised to power multiplied by x raised to power c plus a bracket c minus a right now you can see this rule that we are going to apply over here that is a raised to power m bracket n is equal to a raised to power m multiplied by n so we will write here x raised to power a plus b into a minus b multiplied by x raised to power b plus c into b minus c multiplied by x raised to power c plus c into C minus A, right? Now here you can see that A plus B into A minus B, B plus C into B minus C, C plus C into C minus C. That means this formula we can apply here A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. So we will write here X raised to power A square minus B square multiplied by X raised to power B square minus C square multiplied by X raised to power C square minus A square, right? Now students, you can see that x is here and the base is same so that means they are getting multiplied so their parts will be added according to this rule. So we will write here x raised to power a square minus b square plus b square minus c square plus c square minus a square right. Now students you can see here a square is of plus sign and here a square is of minus sign so that means we can cut them. Next is minus b square plus b square. So again we will cut here. And minus c square plus c square they will be cut. Now we are left with what? We are left with 0. So we will write here x raised to power 0 which is equals to 1. And 1 is equals to right hand side. Right? As you can see that in the statement. So here we have proved that left hand side is equals to left hand side. Left hand side is equals to right hand side. Hence proved right so students these examples were very easy and i hope all of you have understood this completely now all of you are able to do the related homework that we have sent you in your snap homework thank you so much